Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Just go all the way back to the bush right there. We don't need his splits. There we go. Karua, you press start too fast for me. There we go. So I can turn, uh, Karua talks during his run. So we're going to not worry about that. So the, the main purpose of what I'm doing here is I'm going to set up splits and then we can just go by those splits. So we can get a better accurate, a better accurate time. And I know some of you need to watch this run. So there's a movement of, there's a movement of two. That's bad. Okay. He got his P speed in this level. So that's good. <laughs> okay so he got the mushroom however he turned back late like he ran past the card more than he should have all right there's his movement of one and right, this level's pretty pretty standard get that did he did he create lag here though no he didn't boomerang bro through to the left So he got a really good white block. Ooh, he missed his jump there though. Not bad though. Not big, not much of a time loss. And then unfortunately another movement of two. So we'll get ready to split here. We can examine his, um, his uh, fortress here, which is probably pretty standard. I mean, Uh, he walked a little bit there. Eh, not much of a slowdown. was pretty good. So aside from bad RNG, his world one is pretty good. Pretty standard world one. Yeah, see, so we can't go off of his splits because of the way that is. Oh, it looked like he waited there. I definitely split a little early, but that'll be okay. Oh man, I wish I could fast forward these auto scrollers, but like my time almost, like my my splits also fast forward it as well. <laughs> if any of you have watched this run, you can even hear Karua make a noise when he gets the wall clip. He's like, he's also surprised himself. He's like, wow. Can't believe we just got that. So I can't remember if Karua got good or bad RNG um, for this upcoming uh, boomerang bro. So at the end of this tank, there's a boomerang bro. And whenever you kill the boomerang bro, the chest won't appear. Like you won't beat this level until you acquire the chest. If you never get the chest, you'll never exit the level. So the main thing is to make the chest appear and grab it as fast as possible. So the chest appears when you kill the boomerang bro, but the chest won't appear until the boomerang from the boomerang bro disappears and goes off stream. You, you, need, you need the boomerang to go off the screen. So if the boomerang bro moves forward towards you and throws the boomerang, the boomerang is gonna go all the way to the edge of the screen and come all the way back and then go off the screen. So the boomerang's on the screen much longer, right? You don't want that. You want the boomerang bro to walk backwards and then throw his boomerang because then the boomerang's on the screen less amount of time. And that's that's also a part of RNG in this. And uh, he got bad RNG. Not only did the boomerang bro move forward, but the boomerang bro also delayed throwing the boomerang. So that was that's some pretty bad RNG right there. Not much he could do about that. And then here we have there the auto scroller. Can't believe you guys are making me watch this. Bleep. Bleep. Got the fire flower. Pretty easy. Especially when your uh, when your inputs work. It looked like he was gonna jump down there. That was scary.
Pew, pew, pew. I'll make all the sound effects for you guys. Pew, pew. I don't know how to make the sound effects for a, a shooting fireball. Oh, he tried to go for the triple there. The combo wombo, it didn't get it. He's getting those combos, so it's okay. <laughs> yep, the little play area down there. Okay, let's watch his fire kills. Uh, there's some pretty big spaces between those fireballs. So the boom booms, so the center of the boom boom died past the line of the blocks there. You see the line he's standing in front of? You can kill the boom boom there, which essentially is faster, right? It's a couple pixels faster. All right, so no hands. That was some pretty good movements across the hands. Come on, Karu, where's your heart rate monitor? We want to see that jacked, jacked HR. So World 8 Fort for my next split. Yeah, well, in case anyone's wondering, I can't see my time. I can't see the, um, my chat. I haven't been able to this whole run which is fine. Um, so I'll normally, my second split is normally after the fortress in world eight, because that incorporates, um, you don't need to time the, the, the tank and the Navy and the air force and the hands. That's like all the same all the time. So it's to calculate time lost, gained or saved for eight, one, eight, two and eight fort. So that was a pretty decent fire kill. I wonder why Karua times auto scrollers and how he managed. Oh, he lost a full second because of uh, probably the boomerang, bro. Ooh. So that was a little delayed. That was, he almost didn't make that P speed. Okay, right on. So this is Karua's biggest mistake coming up. In 8-2, for anyone wondering, oh, what are the big time saves? This is one of the biggest time saves right here. I don't know how much of a time save or lost it is. But I'd say that's a pretty big time loss right there, not getting P-Speed. I normally get a 292 in this level, and that's a 290. So I need to turn the volume up for this one because I use it. I use a sound cue. Okay. Uh, he also doesn't get P speed in this. Whereas I do get P speed. Yeah. I think he'll get a 375 as well. That's when I normally get it. I'm still on base because eight one and the fourth are good, but... So that's where I'll normally split. Do 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 do. So we have the auto scroller and then the glitch. So those two big time saves and a time save. So essentially, I can save time on World One with the Hammer Brother movements. I can save time on the boomerang bro in the first tank, but that's, you know, those time saves are RG. The time saves within my control are a little bit crispier 8-1, but no one's gonna argue how 8-1's gonna go. It's gonna go whatever way. Um, pretty big time save. I think more like a, more than a full second, more than a full second in 8-2. Um, and then a little bit of extra time in the fortress. But however, if I don't get my P speed, I sacrifice time trying to get my P speed. So it's pretty dangerous. It's a pretty dangerous thing to do. 
So make a mental note whenever you grab the orb here, what time frame you would need to be at to beat the record. So it's like, if you grab the orb at 942, then I know I'm on world record pace. A 942. Wow, he went back further than I did. He did. He got it last frame there. He went back a lot further than I've been going back here. Oh, he ducks there instead of turnbacks, huh? I think he lost a little bit more time there. He slowed down a lot more. Beep, 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 Oh, I need to hear. <laughs> 